Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and it's the return of our Bring Back Max Power series as on the 14th of July 2024 we will be attending the Max Power Reunion Show back at the um, Staffordshire County Showground so I thought it was a perfect time just to start off with another series of Bring Back Max Power in the lead up to the Max Power Reunion Show in 2024. So what will this look like? Well, we're going to go back in time. This edition we're going to go back in time to June 2002, but we'll also go back slightly further and we'll also look at some of the editions of Max Power magazine that wasn't that wasn't the greatest issues as well, when they were taken over for a brief period before the, the Max, and Max Power team came back and took over the magazine until its demise in 2011. So, as I said, we're going to look at the June 2002 edition and we're also going to try and um, work on doing a few modifications with the uh, Cactus as well in the lead up to the Max Power Reunion show as I'd quite like to show the car even if it's just outside. I know that I won't get into the halls or anything like that but even if it was just to show the car outside. So why not uh, grab a brew and um, join me as we look at the June 2002 edition of Max Power magazine. So it hardly seems that long ago that we were at the Max Power Reunion show and to be quite honest with you I was blown away with it. The amount of cars on display, inside and outside, um, DJ Richard Dawn, um, the car reveals from um, Kelly's Pug, um, and RS Jamie, um, just to see, just to see um, Project 2000 um, in the metal and also seeing it being restored to some type, type of its former glory um, and also just seeing um, Kelly's pug the show car she'd been building up on Instagram just to see it on the actual day being revealed um, so a lot's happened in the last five weeks uh, or so when when it was when we went to the Max Power Reunion show um, a lot of things personal has happened and just when I thought things were getting better I injured my back um, it's getting better um, but I'm tr trying to take it easy um, it's maybe just a sign to slow down over the last sort of four or five weeks it's just been full on so why don't we get into this edition of uh, Max Power so we've got a Psycho um, Schizophrenic Fiesta 1.25 has 182 brake horsepower nitrous alter eagle. In max metal, we've got the world's barbiest Corsa, a radical RX7 and 20 inch wheels, a dimmer saxo, um, 21 trick motors, a trick but insurable Punto, fast and furious Fiesta, hard as nails Mondale, delicious dimmer saxo, baby pool and saxo, Ludicrously Loud 306, Flipped Out Charade, Fast as Feck 300ZX, Crazily Kitted Corsa, Ultimate Van Test, Budget Busting Car. Then in staff cars you've got um, Skoda Octavia RS or VRS, Volkswagen Corrado G60, Peugeot 205 GTI, Renault 5 GT Turbo, M3, Seat Rossa. Ibiza Cupra, Corsa Van and a Saxa 1.1. Your Max Babe this month is Carina. The best stuff you must do this summer. And the top 100 Max Motors. And also how to transform your seat in your car for under £200. So, first advert on the cover is GameCube from Nintendo. Before we have a look at the ignition, World's number performance tuning mag. So there's our RX7. I think this is the Charat. Nissan 300ZX. 
I'm not sure what that is, what looks insane. Little Punto, a 306, Fiesta, Ka, the Blue Cars of Mondeo, uh, there's Angel and the Devil, and there's a Saxo. And in this issue, Max Power covered 27,216 miles, bringing you the cars for this issue. So let's have a look. And always, as always, we're going to have a nips alert. Um, this was what it was like back in the day of Max Power. Girls exposing themselves um, as part of a cruise scene. Um, so we'll do our best to edit these out. Um, but as we say, this is what it was like back in the 2002. There's an advert for Siemens. If you have a Siemens phone, you can change your phone covers. And who remembers the advert for Yorkies? It's not for girls. Not available in pink. That was quite a big ad campaign back in the day. And here's our first feature car. This is a Ford Fiesta Mark IV. Three weeks ago, this car was a crumpled mess. Now it's a Max cover car. Clearly Craig Winston is on a mission. So there's its sound system, nitrous solutions. So mixing it up, so the Craig Winston guide to thieving loads of ideas and lobbing them on one car. So he's got a 206 rally style rear wing, Ferrari F50 bonnet vent, Saxo side, side skirts and a Jap style front bumper. So why don't we have a look at the tech spec on this car. So it's the um, 1250cc 4 cylinder 16 valve or 1.25 Skip uh, Z-Tech engine. It's got a skimmed, ported and polished head, fifth injector, titanium plugs, Group A head gasket and performance bolts, 100 brake horsepower worth of nitrous, custom built side exit exhaust. It's currently, it was currently running the factory 5-speed manual with an AP racing clutch. Suspension-wise, it's lowered on at the front with PI springs and ZTEC S shocks. On the rear, it's got a Puma rear beam, lowered 60mm at the front and 70mm at the rear. Braking system is taken care of by Tarox grooved discs and pads and the rear is standard. These wheels are 7 by 5 by 7.5 by 18 inch wheel face icons on 215 35 ZR18 Toyo Proaxis TSs and the bodywork. It's a modified Carlton Evil Delta front bumper, eyebrows blended into bumper, Ferrari F50 style bonnet vent, bonnet's been extended, custom wing vents. Modified Citroen Saxo side skirts, Blade Street Mod custom rear bumper, Peugeot 206 rally style, rear wing blended in, de locked and de handled, side exit exhaust, gold coloured side repeaters and rear light clusters. This car has been resprayed in Alfa Romeo Nuvera Blue with a special mix. Interior wise, it's got um, two racing. X2 racing steering wheel, silver and blue vinyl retrim, Cobra race seats, sparkle seat belts, chrome gear knob and handbrake, silver colour coding on dash. Ice is taken care of with a Kenwood KDC 408 
OR CD head unit, Kenwood mids and tweeters, 2 by 4 inch and a 6 inch DLS speakers in the rear, Audison VRX250 amp, Audison VR209 amp, 18 inch PCS sub on rear parcel shelf. Security, of course. Performance, max power. This is on a 1.25 with the nitrous turned on, is 182 brake horsepower. Max speed 110 mile an hour. 0 to 60, 6.2 seconds. Now we really are going back in time with Top Dog for video HMV. So there's the A Team, Airwolf, Knight Rider, and Equalizer. Planet Max, Cruiser's car face, Cruiser's cars face the crusher. Cops play hardball at unauthorized Western cruise, and warn it's legal meets or nothing. And that story hasn't really changed much in the last 21 years. And we have another nips alert, so we've got um, nuts and bolts, half decent old duffer shock, um, a stag, it wasn't quite the stag party we had in mind. What's that all about? We know that Reynolds Velsatis executive cruiser comes straight from a weird box, but what the feck do they mean by an advert showing a stag watching TV? Hmm. Top 10 motoring hates. Almost 1,500 motorists were asked during a petrol station survey to describe their pet hates about driving. So here's the 10 popular answers. Um, being, being encouraged to drink alcohol when you're driving later. Tailgating, slow drivers, traffic jams, roads full of potholes, speed bumps, roadworks, Cyclists and motorcyclists, speed cameras, bus and taxi drivers. And yes, I would say that these would still apply today, especially um, tailgating, slow drivers, roads full of potholes, uh, cyclists and motorcyclists, speed cameras, and probably from today, ULES cameras you live in the London area. Don't you hate being disturbed by Amazon? Um, we've been expecting a parcel for the last few days and they keep sending us the wrong parcel. Um, it looks as if they finally delivered the right one we've been waiting on. Anyway, we're just going to finish up on this, um, this these last two pages today. So, Win a road trip in 2002 cross-border party. A place on Europe, Europe, Europe's biggest road trip. And then an advert for Orbit chewing gum. Help knock tooth decay into orbit. So, that's part one of our Bring Back Max Power series. Currently looking at the June 2002 edition of Max Power magazine. We'll be back soon with a future episode of Bring Back Max Power where we'll continue to look at this edition of the magazine. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and we'll catch you soon.